All right, let's take a look at the markets this morning. So we've had, um, this is since midnight tonight, uh, these yellow entry or trigger bars <clears throat> automatically come up when we have a setup. Um, they actually fire a audible alert on your speakers, let, letting you know if we have a possible setup in the market. This is the S&P. So since midnight, uh, to, uh, since last night, we've had a failure trade. We've had an outer edge trade, and we're in an outer edge trade right now. Hey, Thomas, good morning. We're in an outer edge right now, currently. That's what we're working on. I want to go over yesterday, and then we're going to go over today's trades. Um, we're going to go over the uh, Scalper uh, software also. Um, you guys are going to be getting on the members download page coming up. Um, I'm almost done finished. I'm almost finished testing it, um, getting some good results with it. So um, we'll go over that later on in the session also. Uh, but let's go. Let's look at the. Uh, let's look at these markets. Uh, yesterday, let's go over to yesterday's session. And then we'll go into today's trades we're looking for. So let's just do a recap of what we're uh, what we're trying to do. So the software will automatically identify when we have a possible setup when this bar turns yellow, and when it turns yellow, that means we have a possible one of three setups. We have three setups in the trade room. The one setup that we, we all know is about the, the zone break. That's our first setup. That's our trend setup. We have an outer edge that's happening right now in the market. These are both of our trend setups with overall zone trend. That's our outer edge slingshot. That's what we're in right now. And then this trade, we'll go through all the, all the trades yesterday that happened, and then I'm going to go over today's trades, and we'll look for the next setups. Then we have a failure setup. So those are the only three setups we need to learn in the trade room. A zone break, what we're trying to do, we're trying to short low and buy lower, or buy high and sell higher when the market conditions tell us the market is in a vertical move. Remember, the markets can only do two things. They can go vertical or they can go sideways, meaning they're chopped or they're going vertical. So our zone breaks, this is a zone break. Hey, Steve, good morning. We're trying to short low and buy lower or buy high and sell higher. So these two, these two are, are, are with trend zone. So our software has been tested for the last 30 years based upon this zone trend. If these zones are red, that's our trend filter, then we're looking to short the market. If they're green, we're looking to buy the market. So if the zones are green, red, we're looking to sell low and buy lower, or buy high and sell higher if they're green with the zone breaks. The outer edge slingshots, they try to get the outer edge of the of the zone and try to get pulled in. That's what we're in one, in one right now. I'll show you that in a second. The only counter setup we have against this zone would be a failure trade. And a failure trade is where you're going against zone. If this oscillator is a weak, if it's below my 65 threshold, you can see my red threshold down here. And a down and an uptrend um, if we're green zones and we get a yellow candle that's going against the zone trends that means this oscillator has weakened against zone trend and is trying to get the counter move to start a trend down so that's a failure that is a slingshot you can tell as we move through the progressively through the day you can see the market got weak again. The zone stayed red all day yesterday. Here's red zone. The yellow trigger bar or entry bar fired here. What's important on the zone breaks is looking at this oscillator below. If it's pegged below, and specifically at negative 20, 123.81, if it's pegged, 
we're in a hard trend. This started at uh, 50, 90 and a half, got as low as what, 78. 12 S&P points on that push potential. That was a zone break that fired yesterday morning. Then we come in, we started to turn up, green zones, no trades fired, no setups fired. Then we went into 11.30, got another zone break right there at uh, 11.29.50 at uh, 78 and three quarters, got as low as, what, 65. So a nice big break, 79 to 65. So another big break on the S&P, then we get going again. Zone stayed red. Remember, we're trying to short low, buy lower. If the zone's red, and then we get another zone break going into noon, which we don't like to trade at noon time. Then we go into that 1230 mark, get another zone break. Short low by lower. Then we get a trend change in the market. We, we turn to green zones, get a zone break, a zone break to the upside. Another zone break, zone break into a failure. Then a huge zone break at, uh, uh, what, two, 241. Really big zone break. Now, the zones are green. We're trying to buy. My oscillator is pegged at positive 123.81. If it's pegged there and you get a breakout, that's a really nice time to buy the market. Buy high, sell higher. 82.5 gets as high as 97 on that push. Really nice move. There's our ATR trail. Then we go into the close. We get a nice zone break. We get a trend change. Zones turn red. Remember when these horizontal dark dots start going sideways that means we have a zone break coming another big zone break yesterday 69 lowest 59 another 10 point potential s p point move it's just a big day of trading if you were taking zone breaks yesterday all day you did very very well just a lot of opportunity and then we go into uh, yesterday at the close really big this is my time of day trade we all know that 350 to 410 at night that's one of my time of day trades i call power hour that's where a lot of algorithms go to work this is the outer edge trade where you get outside the zone and you get back inside the zone this yellow bar prints is trying to catch the top of the market it catches it market follows through real nice then we get a zone break right at four o'clock yesterday then we go into today's trading so then we go into today's trading that's midnight. Really no setups for you early morning traders. No setups until we get to around uh, around 6.30 this morning, 6.25. We had red zone being down. We have a counter move to the upside because the oscillator was stronger. It was above my pot, a negative 65, did not get above it, below it. This printed got to move up to the upside and now where we're at we have two outer edge trades outer edge here outer edge here so that's we only have three setups here this morning so yesterday was a zone break day selling low and covering lower or buying high and selling higher remember the reason this software works so well like I educate traders is that a lot of traders are educated buy low sell high well that's opposite of what the order flow is with these professional algorithms because you're trying to catch a falling knife or try to counter trend trade a runaway train so that's totally opposite what the public does what we're trying to do we're trying to short low buy lower buy high sell higher when these buy stops and sell stops are getting hit based upon order flow or trying to get this outer edge zone this these zones have been tested for 30 years we know they like to reverse on the s p and we try to get this outer uh, at our edge zone for continuations so those are the three setups we'd like to do like i said 
these zones are very, very important in reversing price. You can tell our last outer edge started at 5074 at 8 o'clock this morning. We're as low as 65. It's almost up 9 S&P point potential already. You can see we're at negative 2381. The market is pegged south as far as that goes. All right, so we have a 12020 chart. Let's go over that real quick. We have a 12020 chart, Unirinko in the room. That's our main chart. We only like to trade off this smaller Rinko chart, the 11010. That's half of this Rinko size, is if this is pegged with trend, meaning we only like to take zone breaks on this chart if we are pegged at one or positive 12381 positive or negative 12381 over on this chart. In other words, you want to be trending on this chart before you look for a smaller Renko entry. I ran a live trade uh, last week. If you go to daytradingthefutures.com, it's a really good video for you to learn. If you go to daytradingthefutures.com, it took about 15 minutes for this setup to happen. I walked everybody through it. But when you go in and you go to recent videos, play this video, how to use the automated management software for zone breaks off the 11010. Play this video. What I did last Friday, I walked traders through a zone break before it happened, 15 minutes before it happens. If you don't want to play the whole video, scroll to the last five minutes of the video and you'll see the live trade and it fell over 10 points. But I walk you through why it's coming up, what you look for on the zone breaks, and we did that 15 minutes before the trade actually occurred. So you'll get an idea that this is leading software. It's not lagging software. These zones don't re I mean these zones don't repaint. These indicators don't repaint like most software does. It will show you every single winner or loser in the market according to its entry. So play that, how to use the automated management software. We do have an indicator and a strategy with this where you can turn on the strategy and let the management software automatically manage your entry, your stop, and your trail for you if you would like to do that. Um, I'll show you how to do that in that video, and I'll show you a heads up before the trade comes up. So if you want to, guys want to do that, you can do that, replay that. And I'll let you know how to trade it. The other, the second one you can play the video, which is important. How to trade the zone breakouts of smaller Renko sizes. These two videos really sum up the software that you want to play because what it does, it tells you how you can use this software off the larger Renko by getting into the smaller Renko entry. So it'll help you out as far as that goes about understanding when you want to fire into those setups. At the right time. So um, just go ahead and play those videos and you understand. Let's go over today's market real quick. I shall go to the sim scalper real quick, first of all, while the video is playing. One second. So the sim scalper, what it's trying to do, this thing runs 23 out of 24 hours a day. It's only had one trade this morning. Here this morning. So what it's trying to do is trying to scout the market. Here's some trades it ran yesterday. It's trying to scalp the market. Um, I mean, these are pretty good trades, though. 84, potential 94 on that run. Uh, 77, 71, 
67 down to 60. Here's some trades that ran yesterday on scalping the market to the upside and downside. We're going to go over this software uh, in more great detail. But you can see what it tries to do. This runs 23 out of 24 hours a day, this automated software. I'll go, uh, this will be coming on the members download page once I get this over to Gerald. Um, I'm almost in the final testing stages of it. But you can see what it's trying to do is trying to look for breaks in the market. It's trying to look for breaks in the market with when the market gets in a stronger or weaker position. So that's obviously the market's in a weak position yesterday from 1050 to 1230. You can see it just only took shorts or 10 o'clock, start taking shorts there also. There's 9 a.m. in the morning, 6 a.m. in the morning. See at 4 a.m. in the morning, it only took long side setup. So you can see that from midnight, there's quite a few setups on this. You can allow this software to run 23 out of 24 hours a day um, or any time that you want to turn this software on. And what it does, it tries to look at vulnerable points in the market when the market's in a stronger or weaker position. Right now, it's when in a strong position here early this morning, and now it's just chopping around here a little bit. So we'll go over this in a little bit more detail, but that's something to look forward to for you members um, called the Sim Scalper. Something you guys will be getting here, um, you members also.